soon as I get inside the truck, that license plate is automatically going to change. All right, so let's get in the farthest view we can, so we can keep kind of keep an eye on that license plate. And there you go. You can see the animation of it changing right there. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo 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 it's games and graphics we're making a building with another gta 5 mod tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing a auto change license plates all right this is a script made by next gen mods shout out to next gen now this is going to be a paid mod when you get down to this download page they are going to have a download link that will lead you to their patreon so you will need to become a patreon in order to have access to the auto change license plate script all right now let's go ahead and go through it if you scroll on down there is a video also showing you um how to use it we will go through that as well and you also get a screenshot of uh, the text document on where we change our plates and it also has a slight animation to it if you look right here you can see the animation of the plates changing to a different name we also have that as an optional feature as well and it works on all vehicles and this is also not just for single player gta 5 but it's also for 5m uh, rage mp and alt v or ALTV okay um, these last three are like servers okay so it's more than just the single player GTA 5 that you can use this with and if you scroll down they also have a comparison table and plate ideas for your config all right so you could um, put inside of your text document if you don't have any plate ideas they have a lot of plate ideas here for you right here okay so after you have read this whole page and went through everything and you have already became a patreon and you have this downloaded let's go ahead and jump into the requirements we are going to need script hook v script hook v dot net we are going to need that um, we will not be installing that today although i will leave links that will lead you to a video to show you how to install script hook v and script hook v dot net all right those are going to be the requirements for this today after you have the requirements um, installed and you have your auto change license plates downloaded it should look something like this on my left hand side i have one download which is the auto change plates auto change license plates and on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go. I have all of my requirements installed. What we need to do is go over to our downloads and open up the auto change license plates folder. By opening up that folder, there will be another folder that says auto change license plates. Open up that one. Inside that folder, we are going to have four more folders. We want to open up the single player folder. Inside the single player folder, there are going to be three more folders. We want to open up the copy to game folder folder. Inside that folder, we are going to have two of our files right here that we need to install. So go ahead and highlight both of these files. It's license plates ASI and the license plates text document. We want to drag and drop both of those over here to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Let's open up this one, for example. Okay, we'll open up this one first. This is the one that uh, comes with the download. All right. Now I'm going to open up that one just to show you how it looks by default. OK, so inside the text document for license plates, when you open it up, all by default is going to have about five license plate numbers. So you can add more. You get up to um, eight plate numbers to add and each plate number can only be eight characters long. All right. Now let's get down to the key bindings. This is the key binding right here. It is set to the plus and the equal key that is on the left side of the backspace key. All right. You could also change the key if you want. You would just have to go to this website right here to get all of the different keys. That way you could change it to a different key. Now let's go to down, let's go down to experimental. Experimental will be the animation and the aim, the animation duration. Okay. Experimental will be the animation and the animation duration. You can change the animation right here where it says false, false, change false to true, or you could change uh, the animation duration from 4000 to another number. Um, I will go ahead and leave the animation duration uh, at 4000, what it's set at, unless you really know about this. And you also have the debug log limit as well. I will leave that um, alone as well. Now, if you wanted to add in cars, all you want to do is just go ahead and change the names right here to add in cars. 
and you're all good to go. After you're done making your changes, go ahead and press save and then exit out. Now let's go ahead to our game directory and I'm going to find my license plates text document, the configuration settings. And inside here in the, my GTA 5 directory, I already have my license plates already set. All right. And I already have uh, my animation set to true. Now it's all on you if you want to set it to true or set it to false. Okay. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and set it to false. That way you can see it. All right, set it to false and save. All right, so we'll start off like this. I'm gonna exit out of this. And now that we have this installed, we can minimize any other windows we might have open and run the game. All right, once you spawn in the game, of course, what you wanna do is find yourself a car. Um, let me see, I'm gonna go and jump in this one over here. I think I got a nice and plate I made for this called Murder Truck. So when you get in the car, um, the license plate will change if you have like the top one already filled in. I have, I think, uh, all of them filled in. But if you leave um, them blank and just leave one in, then it will just pick that one license plate. Now, if you wanted to choose through different license plates, if you had entered in different plates, what you want to press is the key is the equal and plus key It's the equal and addition key It's right next to the backspace key okay it's on the left side of the backspace key you want to press that one time and when you press that that will automatically change the plate to the plate that you have entered in the text document all right so you can keep pressing that key and it will go through all of the license plates that you have entered now if you only have one then it will only show one if you have two then it will only go through two depends on how many plates you have then you could go ahead and circle through all of them with this key all right now let's go back and show you the animation part all right in order to do the animation what we are going to need to do is change this right here where it's under experimental it says animation and it will say false we want to change that to true so go ahead and type in true once you type in true um, where it says animation go ahead and select file and select save and you can go ahead and minimize or exit out of this and let's run the game again all right we are back in the game and we are going to take test out the animation of the license plates so if you can see this plate right here on the back of uh the cadillac truck um it says uh four five yce six nine one soon as i get inside the truck that license plate is automatically going to change all right so let's get in the farthest view we can so we can keep kind of keep an eye on that license plate and there you go you can see the animation of it changing right there all right let me get a closer view of that plate. As you can see, it says King SHIT. Yep. And we want to press the key to change the license plates, which is the equal and addition key on the left side of the backspace key. Press that, and you will automatically see the animation of your plate changing. Okay. You will see each letter just flip and start to change. All right. Now, this is all random, it's not going to go down the license plate list. Um, it even mentions that it's random in the text document. So GG truck. Then we have uh, what I have subscribe. GG truck again. And games and graphics right there. I'm going to leave that one right there on that one. And we are good right so we got games and graphics right there on there let's check out the murder truck just to see that license plate as well all right so the murder truck has a different plate but when i get into it it's going to change as you can see right there it's changing to a whole different uh license plate and i could go ahead and set it to any plate that i want to And these plates will stay on the car while you're in the game. Uh, once you turn off the game, um, you're going to have to uh, jump back in the car and then the plates will change again. All right. So let's go back to the caddy. As you can see, the caddy plates went back right there. Jump back in. Whatever car you're driving, it is going to give you the same plates you had before okay it's just that when you get in a different car it's going to be changing the plates of that car 
all right we're gonna end the tutorial right here but if this helps y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's your the video with your friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all this game's graphics me and a big balling ass frank we are out of here till next time i ain't scared of you motherfuckers